They were joined by Easel who wanted to take the ball from them, but saving themselves from the monster was more important at the moment. Easel brings out his dagger with teeth to defend himself, and at the same time calling the name of the jaguar to come rescue them. As one of the monsters bites him, the jaguar emerges from the forest and finishes off the monsters. Yachty tells Easel the ball will be bounded to whoever touches it first. So since the twins were the ones who touched the ball first, he is going to need them to join them on the mission. Of course the twins wouldn't want to join Easel in the quest, but agree to it when the jaguar threatens to eat them. Immediately, they all began their journey to the gates of the underworld. The jaguar tells the twins that since they are now bounded to the ball, they should ask it for the location of the gates. They place their hands together on the ball which brought out a really bright light, showing them the direction that they should go. The group became terrified when they saw the king of the underworld, who showed it to the twins' hometown to drown it to the underworld. They can't do anything concerning the situation so they continued on their trip, but later decided to have a rest and look for food. The jaguar senses someone spying on them and attack the person. The mysterious person is that girl from earlier in the beginning of the episode, who introduced herself as Yanya, telling them how her village was destroyed by demons. She is looking for monster hunters to help her rescue the survivals. Easel is willing to help her out but they don't have much time due to their mission. As they were busy contemplating, Xiania uses the opportunity to escape from Yachty's claws. The group suddenly arrived at an ancient building which is one of the five gates of the netherworld, that needs to be closed. Yachty could not join them inside the building, because gods or spirits are forbidden from entering. The group wander around the place but falls inside a trap. Luckily they held onto the ball which saved their lives, but they found themselves in a more bigger problem, as a gigantic crab-like creature started attacking them. They got to a dead end with no way of escaping, until Xiania shows up to assist them. She gives them a condition of helping them kill the monster, only if they promise to help rescue her people in her land. Of course saving their lives is really important, so they agree to this. As a group, they fought and defeated the monster and found the second gates of hell inside the building. They were able to shut down the gates and left the temple unharmed. The jaguar is angry upon seeing Xiania, but Easel says they have already promised to accompany her to her land, most importantly, the second gate is in that city. Upon hearing that, Yoadi goes away, and leaves them to continue the mission to Zapotec, so they can close the second gate. The group took a rest for a while to have dinner, while Xiania, feeling a kind of pain in her arms, walks away from the group, and suddenly transforms into a kind of monster, without Easel and the twins noticing. The next morning, they woke up to see themselves surrounded by a large number of monkeys, who threatens them to hand over all their food. They gave all they have, and they set Easel and their captive free. A lack of food resulted in a fight among them with one of the twins Yun, calling Easel a coward. Their argument leads to Easel mistakenly pushing one of the other twin kin off the tree in anger, breaking his legs. They are apprehended by a mysterious witch who offers to help them out, and takes them to her residence. As part of the items she can use to heal his injuries, she told the rest of them to go to the nearby river to find a creature called the Meke. They arrived at the rivers and started picking up some lizards thinking it's the Meke they were sent to find, until they are surrounded by a group of monkeys who wanted the magical ball from them. According to their plan, they gave it to one of the monkey which resulted to a fight among the pack, killing one another to get the ball, until the very last one which Easel and his friends were able to take out by themselves. They took the creature back to the witch, who merges her magic with its energy, and uses it to heal the broken leg of the twin. The witch reveals her name as Bogus, and gives them the mecha, revealing its ability to transport them wherever they want to go. They make use of it, but instead of it teleporting them to Zapotec, they found themselves in another city with people with wings, magic, and healing abilities. We are introduced to a girl called Xanastaku, who is revealed to be a slave to a high priest in that place, who has been maltreating her. Because of this, she one day tries to escape from the priest's house, but she was being interrogated by the acting high priest, because the recent one, or her master has gone missing. That was when Easel and his friends were suddenly teleported to the city which gets their attention. The new high priest of the kingdom called Manixna, sees them and orders the guards to imprison them for trespassing into their land. Inside the prison, Xanastaku shows up, offering them food, and revealing her motives to help them escape. Most importantly, she will assist them in closing the third gate of hell, which is revealed to be in this land underground. The new high priest catches her with them, and angrily sends her away, revealing to the prisoners that they will be used for sacrifice the next day to appease their gods. Secretly, Xiangya has managed to escape from the prison by destroying the walls in her cell. Like how can she be strong enough to do that? We see her breathing heavily as it seems she just transformed into a monster again. She finds Meke at a nearby lake. Xanastaku tries to break out Easel and the twins from prison, but the high priest catches and imprisoned her, saying she will be among the prisoners that will be sacrificed tomorrow. While the priest is distracted scolding the little girl, Easel and the twins suddenly attempted their escape by using the magical ball to break themselves out. Immediately, Xanastaku takes them underground the city where the third gate is located, and are later joined by Xiania who brought Meke along with her who has formerly went missing. They're being attacked by the guardian of the place which is revealed to be a gigantic bat. The high priest shows up again but this time, he shockingly served as a distraction, giving the group the chance to finally close the third gate. The priest is devoured by the bat and as the whole temple collapses, they suddenly use Meke to teleport themselves away from the danger. There are questions needed to be asked, so Easel summons the jaguar who suddenly swallows the Meke as food. Having it in his belly alive makes the jaguar to transport the group into different areas of the earth, until it eventually spits out the Meke. Meke being afraid, 
mistakenly teleported only Easel and his friends apart from the Jaguar to an unknown place, which is revealed to be the underworld itself. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get out as Mekke was extremely weak from using too much powers. Easel began to have a second thought, thinking of abandoning his mission to look for his sister in the underworld. In fact, he runs away from the group and finally saw his sister again, who embraces him with open arms. He later realizes that it wasn't his sister but a shape-shifting monster. With Xianya and the twins' help, they managed to chase off the monster. They decided to look for a way out because if anyone stays in the underworld for too long, it will consume them. Xianya says she might know a way out and as they follow her, the group sank into a mysterious water where they encountered the wife of the demon king, who was revealed to be that which they saw in the forest that cured the injuries of one of the twins and gave them Meke. She touches Meke, making the creature to regain its strength again and teleported the group away from the underworld to Xianya kingdom, where the fourth gate is located. Xianya tells them that the gates has six switches, and it's something that must be activated at once. The twin came up with an idea of using the magical ball to try and hit the five switches within seconds, while Izal and Xianya went underground to look for the sixth switch. We see a flashback, where Xianya's parents and city was taken away by the Demon King. Together with her boyfriend, they went to find the Demon King to challenge him in a fight. As they found him, her companion was killed by the Demon King. He accepted her challenge on a duel and effortlessly ends up defeating her. The Demon King brings out her parents in his captivity, and promises to set them free as she brings the champion of humanity alive to him. He installed an ability in her that helps her transforms into a lizard. Easel did not see any sixth switch, and realizes that he was only led to a trap by Xianya, who uses her blood to summon the Demon King. Xianya told him to fulfill his part of the deal, but it turns out that he only tricked her. What do you think is going to happen next?